Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create some AR video that it include uh, some stuff that you see on my screen. First of all, I also have a, uh, a drone or a uh, e box, and as you say. picture worth a thousand words and more than that now AR allow us to put the real three dimensional right on top of your drawing so as you see here is actually a, a inventor drone that is uh, have a internal gearbox that now if I'm gonna go ahead play the uh, trickle the animation then see the how the gearbox actually function and while doing that you can show your client exactly what on the drawing type the block and just exactly how your mechanical uh, model is working uh, at the same time, it also have a great application for uh, architecture, for example. And here, I do have a drawing actually come out from Revit uh, 2013, and I just simply have a marker there, and I just say the three-dimensional model actually sit right on top of the drawing. Okay, and let me just. Uh, Go ahead and show you how you can actually do all of this. Okay, let me just stop the animation for a second. Uh, first of all, I'm working with Inventor. So, as you see on my screen, I do have a gearbox, uh, and this gearbox was done in Inventor and it have a constraint on it. So, if you try this, it's okay. And if you follow my mouse, as you see, there's a word so okay over here. And if I, if I play that, I'm try and drive it, and you see the gearbox actually moving around. And Inventor now also come along with the shoot workflow. So if you just send, hit the button, uh, send the model to showcase conceptual model, or go to okay constraint animation uh, if you use this option it will ask you to select a constraint and all of the constraints can be used in showcase and uh, make the model uh, animated for you um, in here uh, very simple I also go ahead generate a, a DWG file out of it and here I show a couple of drawing Couple of view, sorry, uh, the front view, you go up view with the side view and the 3D model. And in here, I do ask a marker to it. With this marker, when I identify this and associate that with the, my model in showcase, you will see it appear uh, just like a virtual reality model right on top of my drawing. And uh, very much the same story with. Uh, Revit. So here is the uh, Revit 2013. And I have to say, uh, different view, floor plan view, view, 3D view, elevation view. I also have a sheet right here. And on my 3D model, I have the house. And, uh, I generate the drawing, generate some elevation view floor plan view, the 3D view, and similar idea. I do have a, a marker that is on the sheet. Uh, and similar to Inventor Revit also have a, um, a workflow that it allow the model, the Revit model, send directly to showcase for conceptual model it's okay for interactive work through, it's okay for realistic uh, presentation. 
So that's exactly what I did with the uh, model and Soke. So let's go go back to Soke for example. Um, let me just uh, disable my AR mode. I'll quickly show you exactly what I do for the um, model and Soke to to show on my drawing. So if I turn turn on the marker, you will see that it, I have first marker, okay, and also a second marker here. On the second marker, you to go to a three-dimensional view, so you so you would have one marker uh, and here marker thirty, and that associate to my so, uh, my Soke uh, model uh, with I export out directly from. Revit. And I also have the second one with it, the gearbox as you see uh, directly come from uh, inventor and associate with the marker number one and because inventor when we when I use the workflow in inventor and bring this model uh, into showcase the constraint that I selected can also be you in uh, so okay so in this example right here uh, I do have the animation that it's gonna generate the uh, animation of the gearbox so if I hit play right here you see the whole thing is actually turning around so let's stop it for a second and uh, move it down the box away and we're gonna go ahead activate the AR mode camera, let's simply enable it. The AR plugins is the new plugin for Soke that's it on in on Autodesk Labs. It's amazing. It's a great toy to play with and uh, show your client um, what you can do with Soke. It's a, such amazing stuff. Uh, so what happened now is AR is actually asking me to uh, associate the view with my uh, webcam. So I actually using my laptop webcam. So if I hit OK now, it will sh shift the view to my webcam. And as you see, uh, that is my drawing come from Inventor. You can take it and move it close to the the camera to show on the view and right on the marker you see how the model work um, if you put your hand on top of the, of the marker to cover it you will not see the model take it out you see it and even in front of the camera if I activate the trigger you see your model is actually moving it around so take a look how it actually works uh, you also have a Revit file that I just showed you, and here I do have the the elevation view, couple of, of floor plan, and a second marker that when I turn it around, you see that at the moment I move my hand away, the model is coming back. The beauty about about this thing is now I can also do a lot of operation. To show my client uh, section view, uh, the uh, dismantle of my house. For example, if I just go in here, activate the group, and uh, um, get some of the stuff, this away to have the same color, and simply just move this away uh, to show more of the, in, the inside of the building, for example. I like it on so dismantle that uh, with sideways here similar that is my floor my grid line my ceiling grid so yeah, keep continue do the same thing select the piece of wall right here and move it away and This thing is 
awesome uh, to show it on a, a smart board or something for a big room review and you can see exactly what's going on with your two-dimensional model right on top of your drawing. So with that in mind, um, go on the Autodesk Labs and try to download